Before I start, I just wanted to maybe see a show of hands if there is anyone in this call who is currently involved in the Power Platform Center for Enablement team or Center of Excellence team or anyone involved in making the platform a success in their organization or, or, or for their customer's organization. Um, that's super helpful for me to know. So, okay, I see a few hands up, but in any way, uh, this is my case. So I've been working in a world like this for a little while now, and there is a very common challenge that I face many times, which is how can we centrally maintain some reusable solutions and component and widely deploy them in the organization? And there's many situations when you might want to do that, right? Maybe it's a component library we want to share to everyone in the company. Maybe it's a custom connector or maybe some specific chart flows or even some dataverse table with some specific metadata that are related to the company that we want every environment to have. And so how do we do that? There are a few things available. Uh, yes, there are the Power Platform pipelines, but those are more adapted to deploy a solution from one environment to one another. There are uh, the Azure DevOps pipelines, which can be configured, and these give quite a lot of flexibility. But here, the setup might take quite a, some efforts, right? Especially if you have many new environments created regularly, you will need to set up those pipelines for each of those environments, and uh, the complexity to maintain it can be a little bit tedious. And there's the Power Platform Catalog. So this is a fairly recent feature. It's in preview. It's an in-product catalog for the Power Platform. And in many ways, in terms of functionality, that can solve a lot of our problems. Uh, one of the inconvenient, though, and I think all the admins there will, 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 will have heard about it a lot, is that it's only supported for managed environments. And so if you are in a position where all your environments are not managed, because that would maybe cost too much for now, you will not be able to use the Power Platform Catalog as a single solution to deploy your solution and reusable components uh, in the organization. And so this led me to ask uh, myself a question, would it be possible to build something to allow to do just that? And this is what I did. I share it on my blog and I, I give the link afterwards. And the principle is, is very simple. Uh, we have a source environment, and on this environment, we have all the reusable solutions that we would be maintaining, and we want to deploy those to multiple target environments. Let's call them target environments. Now, that's the context. Let's move into the demo. We can see here on my test tenant, I am on this source environment that I call demo source, uh, lack of creativity. And on this environment, we can see many solutions that I might want to deploy in, uh, in the organization to many environments. One of them is only containing a component library, component library solution. Another one, the demo global solution, contains a few other stuff as well. It also has the component library, but it has a child flow, connection references, and environment variables used by the child flow. And let's consider we want to deploy those to many environments. Those environments, we call them target. I have four of them, demo target one, two, three, and four. And they're all empty. There's no solutions on those environments right now, except on the fourth environment where I have already the demo global solution, but of a, of a former version. So this is the 4003, and the one we have in the source is the 4004. Uh, it needs to be updated there. Now let's look at the solution deployer, which is the solution I created that I share openly on, on GitHub. Uh, that solution contains a bunch of stuff, including free environment variables that need to be configured to use it properly. It can be installed in any environment that you have. It doesn't have to be either in the source or any of the target environments. And the first environment variable that needs to be configured is the one that will define what is the source environment. You have another environment variable that I added later on to define what are the publishers that you want to consider to, to deploy the solutions. So you definitely won't be interested in deploying the default solution, for instance. So by defining this environment variable, you can make sure that you will only have some selected solutions available to de for deployment. The other things contained that solution involve the driven app and a bunch of flows that allow to do the deployments. Now let's look at the model driven apps. This is a solution deployer model driven app. And on the left, we can see the target environment page which is basically all the environments you might want to deploy stuff to. If you have the CW kit installed, I share another solution with a data flow that will maintain this list of environments from your CW kit. But if you don't have the kit installed, um, then you can also create those environments manually. And you will only need to indicate the name, the ID of the environment, the SKU is informative only. 
you will define on those environments by default, do you want to deploy things as managed or unmanaged? Now, there's not many situations when you'd want to deploy them as unmanaged, but you, you still have the option there. And then you have two accounts to define. The target owner is the account that will own all the underlying components of your solution in the target environment. So me as an admin, I don't want to deploy solutions in an environment and then have my account or my service account owning all those objects. So this is what you can define here. And then in some situations, there might be connection references in the solution, but you might not want the owner to set the connections on the environment. So you can define a separate user who will have to log in and set the connection reference on this target environment for the first deployment. Once we have all our target environments, we can create a single deployment. Let's start with that. If I go to the deployment table, I can click add. This will open a custom page on the right. This page will use the environment variables that we've defined to uh, connect to the source environment and find the solutions available on that source environment with the publishers that we configured. And let's deploy simply the component library solution for now. I can see all my target environment. I will select the number one. And here you can overwrite whether or not you want to import it as managed and whether or not you want to change the target owner or the account to use for the connection reference. In that case, we're happy to keep it as is. I click Save. And what it's going to do is simply add a row in our deployments table with a status as Q. And this will trigger a flow called the solution exporter, which will now run. And essentially, the export of the solution is done with an unbound action of the Dataverse connector that allows you to export solution as managed or unmanaged. And this is pretty much what this flow does. It exports the solution. It saves the attachment of the, the package in the item. So now we can see the two package unmanaged and managed are attached to this to this data dataverse item, and it, the status is now set to exporting, which will trigger the the exporter flow that we said. But once it's exported, it will then trigger the importer flow, which is another flow. And this one will uh, also use some unbound actions for the dataverse connector to import the right package, whether it's managed or unmanaged. And then it will do a bunch of things. First, it will run a chat flow to update the ownership of all the underlying component of that solution to set them to the right owner that we define, the target owner on that environment. Then it will run another chat flow, which will check if there is any connection references in that solution after the import that is not mapped to an actual connection in the environment. Because if that's the case, we want to make sure those are mapped so that the flows can run successfully. This will typically be needed during the first import before that any mapping has ever been done for those connection references. Another chat flow will do the same for the environment variable to identify if there is any environment variable without a value on that solution in the target environment so that it can be remediated. And finally, the last chat flow will run to notify all the relevant users to let them know about the deployment and if there's any mapping needed, needed, needed to uh, finish the setup of the solution. Coming back to the model driven app, if I refresh, it's now showing as completed. It has been imported. If I log in with uh, Pradeep's account here, it's a test user. I have received an email to let me know uh, the, sol the component library solution was imported in the target one environment. And so if I click on this link, it will open the solution from the target one environment, which wasn't there first. And I can uh, confirm that the solution is now there. Now, you might be wondering, I show you this, but it seems a bit like a joke, right? We were talking about deploying a solution to multiple environments, and so far, the only thing I demo is how to do a single deployment. And this is when the solution subscriptions come in. So this is another table where you can create a new subscription, select a solution. In that case, let's go to the other one, the demo global solution. Select how many environments you want to subscribe to this solution, click Save. And this will create a row in the solution subscription table. You can see all the environments subscribed to our demo global solution. Uh, you can add and remove environments as you need, and you can click deploy. And if you click deploy, this will uh, trigger another flow, which will essentially create each individual row for each individual deployment in our deployment table. And so it's going to take maybe a few seconds. 
um, and we're going to see our four three new roles created here. If we go back to the deployment table, we can see that that solution is now uh, the demo global solution is now being deployed to uh, our three environments: target one, uh, two, three, and four. And this is going to trigger all of the, the flows I was showing earlier with all the chat flows to first export. And then in a minute, you're going to see that it's now being imported. And very soon, it will be uh, finally imported. The process is actually a lot faster than doing it from uh, with the Power Platform pipelines. I think that they're doing some additional checks there. Uh, I want to give big kudos to David Wyatt here because I wasn't aware of how possible it is to export and import solution just with Power Automate and with all those checks, all those things, I really sourced this from a blog from David Wyatt and this is what allowed me to create this solution in the first place. Now, conscious of time, I just want, while it's uh, finalizing the import, I'd like to note uh, it's not perfect. Uh, there are a lot of some limitations, things that couldn't be improved. One of them is at the moment you have only one source environment. But also, if you want to upgrade the solution in a target environment, you will need to manually upgrade the solution version from the source so that it really proceed to the upgrade. This could be automated. The notification process could also be improved to make sure that you, you inform users about the changes from the last deployment. All those kind of things will deserve to be, to be improved. Going back to our model driven app, um, there is one that has been completed. So let's now move to Adele's account. On Adele's account, Adele has received an email on the Target 4 environment to say that this solution was deployed and nothing else because the solution was already there. So the connection references and the environment variables were already mapped. However, on another solution, on another environment, on the Target 3, this is the first time this solution was deployed. And so the environment variables and the connection references were never mapped but the solution is managed. And so they need to be updated from the default solution. So by clicking on this link, Adele is able to access that default solution in the environment tab, environment variables tab, and she's able to set those values for the environment variables. She will be able to do the same for the connection references so that this, the solution and the chat flows can run successfully. And that's pretty much it. You can find this solution. There's a bunch of other things available there as well. You'll find it on powertricks.io. You'll find a bunch of other reusable solutions and the link to my GitHub repo where you can download them from. In the future, I'd love to make them available in one of the uh, community GitHub to open it for contributions. Uh, so that should come at some point. Thank you.